the U.S. Navy is reportedly seeking to delay critical shock testing of its newest aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford, which is essential for determining whether the ship is ready for combat, for up to six years. That news follows a damning Pentagon report that shows the vessel's essential systems, such as its electromagnetic catapults, new arresting gear, and advanced radar, still don't work right under the best conditions. On February 7, 2018, Bloomberg revealed that the Navy had appealed directly to Secretary of Defense James Mattis to sign off on delaying the shock testing, which involves setting off large explosive charges near a ship with a representative crew on board and seeing how the vessel holds up, to 2024. Those discussions revolve around the desire to remove funding for the trials in their draft budget request for the 2019 fiscal year. That plan would see the shock tests performed sometime in 2019. Secretary Mattis will respond directly to the Navy when he makes a decision, was all Pentagon spokesperson U.S. Navy Commander Patrick Evans would tell Bloomberg about the deliberations. U.S. Navy Captain Danny Hernandez, a public affairs officer for the service specifically, simply told the outlet that the discussions were ongoing. The Navy shock testing, or formerly the full ship shock trial, FSST, isn't supposed to harm the vessel or anyone on board but rather to rattle everything to see if sensitive systems or other design features might be particularly vulnerable. If problems, or any actual damage or injuries, do occur it would be a pretty clear sign that there's still work to be done before sending the ship out for potentially real combat missions. Most notably, its electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMILS, advanced arresting gear, AAG, advanced weapon elevators, or, and dual band radar, DBR, have already shown themselves to be finicky and unreliable just during relatively low-impact testing. In its latest regular review of U.S. military-wide testing activities, which it published in January 2018, the Pentagon's Office of the Director of Operation Test and Evaluation said its overall assessment of the Ford class remains consistent with previous assessments, which have generally been poor. Poor or unknown reliability of the newly designed catapults, arresting gear, weapons elevators, and radar, which are all critical for flight operations, could affect the ability of CVN-78, USS Gerald R. Ford, to generate sorties, make the ship more vulnerable to attack, or create limitations during routine operations, the report says in the initial summary of its section on the carrier. The poor or unknown reliability of these critical subsystems is the most significant risk to CVN-78. Based on current reliability estimates, CVN-78 is unlikely to be able to conduct the type of high-intensity flight operations expected during wartime. There's a serious underlying concern about the ship's main power generation system, as well, which is necessary to keep all of these components running. Before delivering Ford to the Navy, Newport News Shipbuilding reported a failure in a transformer attached to one of the ship's four main turbine generators. According to the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation, the Navy, not wanting to delay getting the ship any further, approved the use of an existing transformer design it already used for other applications as a substitute. It conducted no testing to determine if this component would work properly with the rest of the carrier's electrical systems.